Cheetos is back in the game, people. Flame and Hot Cheetos are about more than just heat and orange fingers. So here are 10 facts you may not have known about Flame and Hot Cheetos. I'm gonna need a minute. From janitor to executive VP. I revolutionized how you see corporate America today. Richard Montañez was once a janitor working at a Cheetos factory where the assembly line malfunctioned. Because of this, Montañez ended up taking home a large quantity of Cheetos that weren't fit for sale. Inspired by his Mexican heritage, he sought to mimic an elote by adding chili powder to the normally cheesy treat. He shared his new take on the snack with a few of his close friends and relatives, all of whom were immediately addicted to his his take on the already famous brand of chips. Deliciously hot, dangerously cheesy. Despite not knowing much English, he decided to push forward, inspired by the love his food had received from those near to him. He purchased a $3 tie, all he could afford at the time, and borrowed books from the library to bolster his knowledge of both English and marketing. After a period of preparation, he brought his idea to the Frito-Lay board. They immediately fell in love with the newfangled snack, just like his friends and family, and soon after, he became an executive vice president in the company. Unorthodox Combinations Cheetos flavor on the outside, creamy mac and cheese on the inside. Perhaps inspired by the combining of foods that birthed the Flamin' Hot Cheetos we know and love, others have sought to find creative ways to mix this amazing snack with foods that may or may not seem compatible with this spicy snack. One such combination that seems odd at first glance is the sprinkling of Flamin' Hot Cheeto dust on mac and cheese. While many would be quick to defend the purity of mac and cheese, the immediate retrospection brought about by tasting this amazing combo is enough to make anyone reconsider. Oh, the mac and cheese, yeah, they're all the same. In fact, if you take a second to think about it, this wonderful mashup makes more sense than it seems, given the history of the snack. If the origins of our favorite treat started with someone adding chili chili powder to an already cheesy snack, why not try adding the cheesy snack to a cheesy meal? The resulting burst of cheesy flavor coated by a tingly burn of spice afterwards is enough to convert any would-be doubters. More amazing combinations have been thought of over time, but haven't been as immediately accepted and are slightly controversial. Nonetheless, these experiments and flavor combinations, from hot Cheeto pancakes to hot Cheeto mozzarella sticks all go to show that there's still plenty of new flavors out there that we have yet to explore. Flamin' Hot Cheetos on the Auction Block Did you steal my Cheetos again? As ridiculous as it sounds, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, as well as other snacks, have a history of selling for incredible sums of money. In this case, one lucky man, while enjoying a bag of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, stumbled upon one that he believed strongly resembled Arnold Schwarzenegger, beloved actor and former governor of California. He kept this Schwarzenegger Cheeto for a while, eventually deciding to list it on eBay as a collector's item. Look! It's a beluga whale. Perhaps someone shared his vision, or perhaps they just wanted to be funny. We may never know. Nonetheless, this Cheeto eventually ended up selling for a staggering $10,000. This garnered a laugh from Arnold after he was informed about the astounding valuation of his flaming Hot Cheeto likeness. If you think that's crazy, though, what if we were to tell you that this isn't the only flaming Hot Cheeto to be sought after by collectors? Strangely enough, one that many saw to be shaped similarly to Harambe, an internationally known gorilla, received bids for up to $100,000 on eBay. The seller, however, actually decided not to sell for some reason reason, instead backing out at the last second. Maybe he saw even greater value in his Harambe Cheeto, despite the fact that many would have happily cashed out on this opportunity. Could they be addictive? Addictive, eh? While there is plenty of debate about the healthiness of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, this happens with pretty much every snack, and quite frankly, good flavor is always worth it. However, one unique debate related to Flamin' Hot Cheetos is their potential to be addictive in a similar capacity to many mild opiates. 
Indeed, investigations by some medical professionals have yielded these conclusions. However, it's not necessarily the fault of the Cheetos themselves. Rather, the burning sensation from the peppers in Flamin' Hot Cheetos is likely responsible for this phenomenon, meaning the addictive sensation could be replicated by other spices as well. I love spicy stuff too, guy probably more than you do. This sensation causes the release of certain natural opioids, known as endorphins. These serve to make us feel happy until their effect is over, at which point scientists theorize we want to eat more in order to trigger the release of more endorphins. However, there's no reason to fear. Endorphins are naturally produced by the body, and their release can be triggered by a variety of activities. So while these results may suggest some possibility of a addiction. Flamin' Hot Cheetos are likely no more addictive than weightlifting, jogging, or even a gratifying hug from a loved one. Activities that have all been studied to trigger the release of endorphins. Fashionable Chips we got the hat, we're gonna have some socks here. If there were ever any question about the legacy of Flamin' Hot Cheetos and their popularity in contemporary culture, one has to look no further than the fact that Forever 21 actually released an entire fashion line based on the snack. And these clothing items weren't subtle about what they were referencing either, with one dress featuring the exact image from the front of the chip bags. Why is there a leopard on the Cheetos bag? Other items include leopard print accessories, flaming Hot Cheeto hoop earrings, and a variety of Cheeto-related necklaces. While Forever 21 may have ended up shutting down in 2019, these items, alongside other Cheeto-based collectibles, remain available to purchase online through resellers such as eBay. The fact that a brand of chips was able to receive an entire fashion line dedicated to it just goes to show the incredible impact that this treat has had on our society, culture, and life as a whole. Dedicated Restaurants that looks delicious. While you may have found it pretty easy to believe that these famous snacks have been incorporated into a variety of different foods, you might be surprised that Cheetos actually opened up an entire restaurant in 2016 dedicated to such hybrid dishes. The restaurant even featured celebrity chef Anne Burrell heading up the kitchen. Now, obviously, this was not the first restaurant to serve hybrid dishes involving flame and hot Cheetos. However, it was different. Rather than being combined with fast food or other junk food, this restaurant sought to bring Cheetos into the realm of sophisticated high-end cuisine. I really didn't want this thing to be a gimmick where it's just like food that's thrown together and Cheetos thrown on top. This restaurant was so successful, in fact, that in 2018, they decided to open an even higher-end Cheetos-based restaurant where popular chef Roy Choi was in charge of the menu. Here, we saw flaming Hot Cheetos combined with foods such as ribeye steaks, creating amazing new flavor profiles that were widely popular. Amongst a variety of other dishes, Chef Choi also made sure to pay homage to the origins of the snack by creating a flaming Hot Cheetos Elote that was extremely popular. Heck, there might not be anything that Flamin' Hot Cheetos can't be combined with to produce an amazing taste, with people even applauding the Flamin' Hot Cheeto chocolate milkshake. As ridiculous as that sounds. As time has passed, and with many seeing how successful hot Cheeto-based hybrid foods can be, they have slowly become part of more menus, ranging from fast food to high-end establishments. One of the few remaining mysteries. Ah, uh, check, please. In a world where almost any question can be answered by using Google, there are still mysteries that serve to confuse and intrigue. One such mystery is about the actual composition of the flavoring dust used on Flamin' Hot Cheetos. While we have obviously heard that the invention of the snack involved the use of chili powder, the formula has been tweaked over time such that its contemporary composition remains a mystery. The ingredients officially list capsaicin and chili powder, but the company has maintained that these specific proportions and recipe are not known to the public, and will hopefully never be, in order to protect the secrets behind the snack. How can we make more Krabby Patties without the secret formula? This, however, hasn't stopped many people from attempting to recreate the famous flavoring of the snack. 
this can be seen in the variety of attempts trying to solve the mystery, particularly with chefs on YouTube engaging in their own recreations of the amazing flavor dust. Nonetheless, while some claim to be successful, many disagree, including the same YouTubers who often claim that their proposed recipe do not provide the same flavor as a store-bought bag of flaming Hot Cheetos. Serving sizes? More like serving suggestions. It's just a huge, 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 huge. One of the most infamous complaints about most brands of chips is that the bags feel like they are half full, with the other half simply being filled with air. However, in the case of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, this appears to be another area where they have gone above and beyond, ensuring they are at the top of their game. Let's test it. Some studies have shown that the Cheetos bags actually contain more chips than the serving size would suggest, and that's something that should definitely have fans cheering. According to the nutrition facts, the bag should only have a total of 189 chips. However, it has been found that there are approximately 237 chips in a bag, a whopping 20% bonus over what should be expected. A whole Cheetos movie? I'm so excited for you guys to see this film because everybody's gonna love it. Apparently, Hollywood executives and film producers were also deeply impressed by the history behind the spicy treat. They were so impressed, in fact, that they started planning a movie detailing the story. Ava Longoria, the famous actress from Desperate Housewives, decided to take up the mantle of directing the movie. The production of the film was actually recently concluded in 2021, although a specific release date for public consumption has yet to be announced. No details? Despite some secrecy surrounding the entire production process, they have released a list of actors participating in the film, and there are definitely some big names involved, most notably Emmy Award recipient Tony Shalhoub. Additionally, we do know that much of the story will be centered around the life and experiences of Richard Montañez, which makes sense given how his story could be considered deeply inspirational. Regardless of whether they focus on his astounding move from a janitor and high school dropout to executive vice president of a multi-billion dollar corporation, or on the evolution of Flamin' Hot Cheetos as a whole, we know that Longoria will ultimately deliver a film that deeply appeals to the almost cult-like fanbase of the spicy chip. The Cheetos Museum it's all about clarity of shape and depth of color. There has been an entire museum dedicated to the preservation and expression of the fascinating past of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Cheetos decided to collaborate with the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum to create the Infinity Hall of Cheetos, a bold name for an exhibit essentially containing different Cheetos that people believed resembled objects or celebrities. Unfortunately, the pop-up museum has since been shut down. However, the legacy of Flamin' Hot Cheetos has been cemented throughout our culture and is, in fact, still alive in the Ripley Auditorium, albeit to a much smaller degree. What was once an entire exhibit has been reduced to a singular Cheeto still housed in the auditorium. Only one can be the best. Nonetheless, this still serves as a beautiful reminder of the extent of the influence of Flamin' Hot Cheetos, which will likely only continue to expand given how amazing they are. We've got more. Just tap or click for another great video. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell.